definitely groups of students who are more at risk for not feeling as connected, um, for a sense of belonging, for a school climate, things like that that we know that are important. Um, and I would I will point back to the research on discipline practices and suspensions and expulsions because we know that um, racially and ethnically diverse students and also students with disabilities are more likely to be suspended and expelled. Um, and you know, for similar behaviors that um, white students and students without disabilities are exhibiting within the classroom. Um, and oftentimes, the, when you look at the research on disciplinary po- um, practices and suspensions and expulsions, um, that it's really most of what students are getting suspended and expelled for are subjective offenses. So there are things like talking back or there are things like dress code violations or um, things that um, really ma- matter how you perceive the behavior that students are engaging in. And so because that those are the um, behaviors that students in, are getting expelled for and suspended for more for the racially, ethnically diverse students, specifically black and Latino students, male students as well are more likely than female students, um, that, that uh, we can really point to there being some bias against those groups of students and that is why um, they're being suspended and expelled more often because they're kind of perceived as being worse behaviors because of how people might perceive those those students. Um, and as we know, if you're suspended or expelled, you're not in school, you're less, you definitely feel less connected. There's also connections to things like juvenile justice system as well, which we also know has their own problems with bias and, um, with those groups as well. So um, I think, yes, we definitely, there are groups of students who are more at risk that we really need to be paying close attention to and asking questions like, why do we have an instance in the school where the black students are getting suspended more than the white students or the Latino students are getting more um, suspended more than the white students um, and and try to figure out what's going on in our school culture that's leading to um, those dis- disparities happening with the data. And I think even kids younger can start to pick out those kinds of things where, where teachers or, or staff might be treating certain kids differently. Um, but certainly in middle school and high school, it's really apparent if there are certain groups of students who might be suspended more or expelled more. Um, and that, that definitely, you know, for those, for those students, they feel disconnected. They feel like they're being um, treated wrongly um, in the school system and definitely would feel disconnected. So if other students are witnessing and seeing, oh, the male students are getting suspended more than the female students, and I'm a male student, what does that say about what people think about me in the school setting? And they are automatically going to be more on guard or feel more unwelcome. And if those students don't have a good relationship with a teacher in the school, then they're going to feel even more unwelcome and feel even less connected to the school. Um, And so it's kind of like the snowball effect. Visit us online at ideastream.org slash welcome for more web extras, links to resources, and to watch the documentary, You Are Welcome, Creating Safe and Supportive Schools, a production of Ideastream Public Media.